Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make an accounting system series. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add triple hatch to your egg hatching system so when you get close to an egg and press R it will open three eggs and close the billboard GY. So let's get right into the video. Also if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said let's start. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to star GUI, egg hatching system, client scripts, hatch client, and enter the script. Now we're going to scroll down right after the hatch1 function, and we will create a brand new function called function um, triple hatch. And this is going to take uh, four arguments. So the first one will be pet name and the second one will be pet name two, and the third one will be pet name three, and the fourth one will be egg name. And what we're gonna be doing is just copying the everything that's inside of the hatch one function, and paste it inside of the triple hatch function. Also, I'm going to change this to egg instead of egg name, and now I'm going to change a couple of stuff here. So the first, the first thing I'm going to change is this. So copy the uh, pet variable in here and paste it here and paste it again. Rename the second variable to pet2 and the third one to pet3. And then I'm going to change uh, this to pet name 2 and this to pet name 3. After that, I'm going to copy this local egg mesh variable and I'm going to paste it here and paste it again. And the, this one will be egg mesh 2 and this one will be egg mesh 3. And we're going to do the same thing here. So scroll down, copy this for loop, paste it here and paste it here again. Now we're going to want to change this to egg mesh 3, egg mesh 2 and make sure to keep this one as egg mesh. Now we're going to scroll down and right here I'm going to copy this cf variable for cframe and I'm going to paste it two times. Now the second one will be cframe2 and it will be set to cframe.new and on the x-axis we want to have a value like 5 or 6 and in here we're going to have minus 6. And after that, I'm going to copy this. Also, make sure that this is renamed to CF3. And as I said, I'm going to copy this, paste it here, and paste it here again, and change this to egg mesh 2, and this to egg mesh 3. Now, I'm going to change this to CF3 and CF2. And I know this is getting a bit confusing, but bear with me here. So, after this, what we want to do is copy this in here and paste it here and paste it again same thing here egg mesh 2 and egg mesh 3 and after that copy this for loop paste it here and paste it here again now change this to egg mesh 2 and this to egg mesh 3 now after this hatch one connection colon disconnect we will copy this egg mesh on destroy, paste it here and paste it here again and change this to egg mesh 2 and this to egg mesh 3. And after that, copy this, paste it here and paste it here. Now, before we change anything here, I'm going to exit out of my script, select the pet display frame and I'm going to make sure that it's visible. And I'm going to change its transparency to zero. And after that, I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and moving it and duplicating it again and moving it somewhere. And I'm going to select both of these and center them. After that, I'm going to rename one of them to Pet Display 2 and the other one to Pet Display 3. And now what we're going to be doing, by the way, make sure that the middle one is called Pet Display. Now I'm going to go back to my hatch client script and change this to pet display 2 and this to pet display 3. Now after doing that, we will copy this uh, local pet model here and paste it here and paste it again. And then change this to pet model 2 and pet model 2, pet model 2, pet model 2. And then 
we're going to change this to script.parent.parent.petDisplay2 and instead of pet it will be pet2 same thing here pet model 3 pet model 3 pet model 3 pet model 3 script.parent.parent.petDisplay3 and pet3 after that i'm going to copy this paste it here and paste it here again and change this to pet model 2 and this to pet model 3 and after doing that i'm going to copy this twin service comment create paste it here two times again and change this to script.parent.parent.petDisplay2 and this to script.parent.parent.petDisplay3 and after that i'm going to copy this paste it here and paste it here again and i'm going to change this to pet display 2 and this to pet display 3 and now i'm going to exit out of my script and make sure that all of these pet display frames are invisible and that all of them have a transparency of one and then i'm going to go back to my hatch client script and copy this paste it here paste it again change this to 2 and this to 3 and now we have our function pretty much done but all we, what we want to do is call this function when we press a certain key code a certain key so copy this here and put it here and now what i'm going to do is change this to key code dot r instead of t and uh, i'm going to change this here this result to uh to maybe result uh, one and i'm going to copy it and paste it here and paste it again and i'm going to change this to result two and this to result three and now i'm going to do the same thing here i'm going to check if result one is not equal to nil and result two uh is not equal to nil and result uh, 3 is not equal to nil then uh, nil then then we're gonna call the hatch 3 function the triple hatch function so triple hatch result 1 comma result 2 comma result 3 and i think that should be it what i'm going to do now is just play the game and see if this works now if you get close to an egg press r it should hatch three eggs and when it hatches them it displays them on the pet display frames and if we hatch one egg this time as you can see it still works and if we hatch multiple eggs it works again now uh i find this to be pretty annoying that the uh, billboard gui doesn't disappear when you press when you hatch an egg so we're gonna be fixing that so what i'm going to do is scroll up and create two functions here under the uh animate billboard function the first one will be called uh, close or uh, disable all billboards and the second one will be called enable all billboards and what i'm going to do inside of the disable all billboards function is check in if uh, actually what i'm going to do is create a variable up here it will be a bool so i'm going to rename it to can't open billboard or maybe can open billboard is equal to true actually let's keep it at can't open billboard and we're going to set the value to false and what i'm going to do here is make sure that can't open billboard is equal to true and what i'm going to do is loop through all of our billboards 
where I can be in pairs, script dot parent dot parent dot egg billboards, colon get children, do, and uh, if vcon is a if vcon is a billboard gy, then animate billboard and it will take the billboard which is v, and then we're gonna set we're gonna close the billboard so this will be set to false. And now we're going to copy whatever is inside of the disable all billboards function and paste it here. And this here will be set to false. And instead of closing all the billboards, we're going to want to open them. And that should work. Now what I'm going to do is just go to my hatch one function and just call the disable all billboards function. So, uh, spawn function, uh, disable all billboards, and I'm going to make sure that I add an end. And I'm going to copy this function and paste it r right at the end of the uh, h1 function, and I'm going to change this to enable all uh, billboards. And now I'm going to paste the first one inside of the start of the triple hatch function and it will be the disable billboards function and same thing down here enable all billboards and that should hopefully work so now if i just hatch an egg it does not close the billboards so let's see why that is happening Okay, so I think I know why. It's because we are we keep on opening them even though we are we already closed them because we didn't add a check in here. So what I'm going to do is just add a an if statement after this line of code right here. So if can't open billboards billboard is equal equal to false then and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to copy this if statement, paste it here, and just add an end in here. And now if I play the game, everything should work, hopefully. So R, and as you can see, it closes the billboard and it hatches the egg. Now, I think this is way better than what we had before. Also, if you guys found this tutorial helpful, please like the video, subscribe. Uh, share the video with your friends and I will see you all in the next video. Bye